from the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Your Majesty the Queen Victoria of England, extend your reach beyond your borders and across the face of the globe. Worry not over the possibility of defeat, for your loyal redcoats and overwhelming navy will surely carry the day. With your calm and steady touch, you can bring all lands under England's sway, establishing a true Pax Britannica. Your mastery of the spoken word is a gift of great value, silver-tongued Pericles, leader of the Greeks. Through it, you can attract the devotion of a league of states, surrounding yourself with their glory. Establish cultural sites along the rocky shores of Greece to unite your people behind your strong governance. If all goes well, the sirens will sing of the age of Pericles. Gorgo, Queen of Sparta, glory to you and your loyal hoplite armies. Greece savors the blessings from Ares that every victory brings, and your people applaud your thoughtful governance and cultural marvels. Stand proud, for the legacy of Greece and of your achievements will be told over and over again for generations. All men fear the approach of your ships, King Harald of Norway, Thunderbolt of the North. Your longboats dominate the waves, always at the ready to unleash their berserker armies on an unsuspecting shore. May Odin bless your kingdom, and may the Skalds sing tales of the victories of your mighty warriors. The great wave of Buddhism follows you, Shikan of Japan, Hojo Tokimun. Your people truly understand what it is to practice balance, and even your finest samurai will be well learned and spiritually apt. Be strong, embrace the divine wind, and you will reach enlightenment. Mother Earth has many gifts for you, King Mbemba and Singer. Your people know the dense woods and rainforests as their homes and glide through them with ease. Great also are the gifts that come from travelers of distant lands. Keep an open mind, for the inspiration of the open world will let our people create art with power and majesty. Your people look to you, Emperor Pedro II, to lead Brazil onto the world stage. Use your reputation as a patron of artists, scientists and engineers to draw the greatest minds to our fertile home. For it is in the lush rainforests, teeming with life, that your people thrive. Watch them in the carnival as they dance the samba in celebration of your great feats, Pedro the Magnanimous. Embrace the chill winds of the motherland, Tsar Peter. Your fascination with science and culture is a gift, and you will learn much from your grand embassies to foreign lands. Under your rule, Russia will surely flourish and spread, absorbing all that lies around it, perhaps creating the greatest land empire seen on this earth. All Spain stands ready to answer your prayers, devout King Philip. From your palace at El Escorial, you can send forth your followers, missionaries, apostles, and conquistadors, ready to strike out across the seas to spread the good word about your most holy empire. May the treasures they uncover fuel your quest to unite the world under one faith and one empire, making you truly the most Catholic king. In your people lies your greatest strength, Emperor Qin Shi Huang. From all over the world, others will come to gaze upon the great walls and towering wonders of your united China. May the hands of your men never blister, as they work hard and fast to raise the most impressive structures that the world will ever know. Protect them well, and you will forever be immortalized. And so it is upon your broad shoulders, Theodore Roosevelt, 
to charge forth and lead your people on their great adventure. Use your military might to give the peoples of your homeland the square deal they so desperately deserve. Surely, you will raise America into the limelight and attract visitors from across the oceans just to see your lands. Bully for you, Mr. President. All people will tremble with fear and respect for you, great warrior Queen Tamiris. For it is from the back of your stallion that you shall look upon and lead the Scythian people. Great epics will be told of the horse warriors that ride forth from the steppe and at the front line of every battle they will find you. Ride on, fierce queen, and may your friends be true, just as your enemies falter. Your legions stand at the ready to march out and establish the largest empire the world has ever seen. If you can truly get all roads to lead to Rome, yours will be an empire of great riches and luxuries. Surely then our citizens will proclaim you as their best ruler, the Optimus Princeps. It falls to you, Catherine de' Medici, to use your gifts of knowledge and of the arts to unite your people. Steer carefully through these troubled times, Queen Mother of France. You will build great wonders, drawing visitors from all corners of the earth. With your keen awareness of all things, both those seen and those hidden in the shadows, your empire will certainly stand the test of time. There will be those who underestimate you, but you are cunning and full of tricks, Queen Cleopatra. Your charm will establish indestructible alliances with the strongest leaders of the world. Keep your friends close by your side and you will find yourself untouchable, with the glory of Egypt primed to win over the world. Heroic Frederick, King of the Germans, your task is to forge the independent states that surround you into an empire. You are blessed to be a great military leader. Use those skills to bring these cities under your sway, so that they may develop into commercial and industrial powerhouses. Surely then the bards will sing of mighty Frederick with the red beard, the great Holy Roman Emperor. Be kind, Gandibapu, and you will find yourself surrounded by true friends. Keep the Indian people safe, guarding them with magnificent elephant warriors. Your faith will guide you to peace and harmony. Keep your mind open and be the change you want to see in the world. Encourage the people of Sumer to settle the fertile lands along rivers and be sure to choose your allies carefully, for there will be many vying for a piece of your strength. Venture forth, for it is time to begin your epic tale. The marriage of science and religion is a delicate balancing act, but one that you have mastered, Saladin. Your quest for knowledge is noble, and your people have a deep respect for you. But you need not rush into the unknown. Given time, the answers to life's most puzzling questions will find their way back to Arabia. <laughs>